Hello, I'm Dr. Gordon Hamilton, and today on Math Pickle, you're going to be introduced to a game that will help your students learn how to carry. Carry as in 15 plus 17. Oops, you've got too many units, so you have to take some of them and plop them over into the tens position. This is the second game in a series devoted to the concept of carrying. The first game in the series was called Too Many Mice, and in that game you actually didn't have to carry, you actually just obliterated tens. In this game, rock, paper, scissors, you are going to carry, and you're going to carry around in a circle. So instead of going to the from the ones to the tens position, from the tens to the hundreds, you're going to be carrying around in a circle. Here's an example. We've got too many rocks. We've got 12 of them. So 10 of them are going to be wrapped up by the paper, and we're going to end up with plus one paper. The components for this game include four sets of playing cards, each numbered from one to five. You can use a standard set of playing cards, no problem. But if you want to, you can go to the website and download this official set. Let's see how the game's played. Rock Monster, Paper Pterosaur, and Mr. Scissors are dueling again. It's boys versus girls. First of all, you take the 20 cards and you shuffle them and deal them out. Then you order them, starting with the lowest card on the bottom, ending up with the fives on the top. The girls begin. The girls have chosen to have a five, yellow five, on the top. They get to choose to put that on any of the enemy positions, either the rock monster, Mr. Scissors, or Paper Pterosaur. They're going to choose Paper Pterosaur. So five Paper Pterosaurs go into the boys' pile. Now it's the boys' turn. They pick up a pink rock monster and can choose to either send it to the girls or keep it for themselves. They decide to be selfish. The game alternates back and forth between the girls and the boys. The game ends whenever all the cards are used up. At that point, you count the number of rock monsters for the girls and the boys. Who wins the rock monsters? The group with the most. Now you do the same for Mr. Scissors and for Paper Pterosaur. See which group wins them. To win the whole game, you have to win two out of those three creatures. The girls pick up five pterosaurs and they decide to keep them for themselves. The boys pick up four pterosaurs and decide to give those to the girls. The girls pick up five Mr. Scissors and decide to give those. No, they decide to keep those for themselves. The boys pick up four Mr. Scissors and decide to keep them for themselves. The girls pick up four rock monsters and decide to keep them for themselves. It's the boys' turn. The boys have got four that must go to the enemy, so they can choose either to send them to the rock monster, the pterosaur, or Mr. Scissors. They choose Mr. Scissors. The girls pick up three that must go to the enemy. They decide to send them to the paper pterosaur of the boys. The boys pick up three Mr. Scissors and decide to give them to the girls. That means that the girls have got too many Mr. Scissors. So ten are immediately chewed up by their rock monster. That leaves only two Mr. Scissors. The girls pick up three paper pterosaurs. That gives them too many. So ten are killed by Mr. Scissors, and that leaves them with just two paper pterosaurs. The boys pick up two paper pterosaurs and decide to give them to the girls. The girls pick up three rock monsters and hand them off to the boys. The boys pick up two enemies and have to send them off and send them off to the paper pterosaur. The girls give two rock monsters to the boys who don't really want them. The paper pterosaurs wrap them up. It's the boys' turn. The boys choose two Mr. Scissors and keep them for themselves. The girls give one paper pterosaur, which gives them too much, and Mr. Scissors benefits. The boys choose Mr. Scissors for themselves. The girls choose an enemy and decide to give one paper pterosaur to the boys. The boys decide to keep their one rock monster for themselves, and the game is ended. Who won? Well, the girls won both paper pterosaur and rock monster. The only thing that the boys won was Mr. Scissors. So that's two versus one, the girls win. I'd like to thank Robert Lang for the origami inspiration for Paper Pterosaur.
Brian Brown for his rock monster, and Heinrich Clay for the fanciful Mr. Scissors. <laughs>